Hey everybody, welcome back to another Triple Hound video, and we are making another custom Fortnite skin in preset in response to viewer requests. In this case, we are making the DC villain Silver Banshee, best known as bad guy who fights like Superman and Supergirl and stuff. We had a couple of different requests from the same person to make Silver Banshee over the course of the last handful of months, and so we decided we would jump in and do it. Silver Banshee, as I mentioned, is a DC villain whose primary power is that she has this like death scream or death wail where she screams and basically kills people by screaming at them. She appears in not only the DC comic books uh, but also in other media like cartoons and even in live action form in the CW Supergirl television show. So Silver Banshee shows up in a lot of different places and you know what, we have just the right customizable skin to make her, we thought. For more on that, let's jump into how we make the skin. For Silver Banshee, we start with the Joel Terror outfit. And the Joel Terror outfit is one of the customizable zombie skins in the game. Now there are the boundless customizable superhero skins, which we use for so many of our custom skins in Fortnite. And a little while after those boundless skins were released, they put out the sort of zombie versions of those skins. And the zombie version actually is perfect for what we're trying to do here. In both the Boundless case and Zombie Superhero case, they have different outfits that you can customize and you can put different colors on them and such. And you can kind of make them look however you want within those parameters. And so in this case, we decided to make a uh, Silver Banshee. We use the Joel Terror skin, like I said, female skin with long hair, which kind of checks the right boxes. For the body pattern, we went with Intrepid over here, which best mimics the costume we've seen in most images of Silver Banshee. Or the skin mask option here, we've got a couple of different things. We, basically, it cuts off more and more of her outfit. It basically deteriorates more and more of her outfit. We wanted to keep her outfit as intact as possible. Silver Banshee, to be clear, is not a zombie, so we didn't really want to play up the decay and rot aspect of this thing. She's like a ghost apparition evil character, so she has a sort of a death face thing going on, but she's not a zombie. And then for that reason, we made her boots full too. There's no reason to have her boots falling off. Primary color is black, secondary color is white, which is a relatively simple character in that regard. Skin color is gray, hair color is gray, eye color is gray. Again, super simple. As you can see, when you get kind of close up here, her mouth is sort of falling apart and her skin is deteriorating. But here again, that's mostly to try to capture the look of her, like, death face. She's got kind of a, a not quite a skull, but like sort of a skull look to her face, if you will. And this, I think, you know, kind of does the trick, to be honest. We don't need a sticker to complete the look, so that is the skin, and let's get into a preset. I gave her the Radar Senses back bling um, from Daredevil, which is supposed to be sort of his ability to hear stuff at a great distance, but I thought it also kind of worked as a visual representation of her death scream. The bank shots, just white and black pickaxes, I thought worked basically just because of their color. Similarly, the Everything's End glider is just kind of ghostly, I think. I'm not too sold on this glider, so if you've got a better idea for a glider, please do let me know. Zip Ribbons is kind of my go-to glider. It's just kind of a plain one. Again, if you've got something better in mind, please let me know. Another one that could work is the Soul Fall, which kind of seems like spirit energy trailing behind the person, but there's a little too much red in it for me, and I don't think red works all that well with this character. I know I put the red back bling on her, but that's relatively fleeting and, sh and small. This is a lot of red. For the wrap, I gave her Boogeyman just because it's all black. That seemed like it made sense. I gave her this kind of swirl banner thing. Again, I, I think it kind of fits with the death scream type of visualization. And for emotes, I mostly gave her stuff that looked like her screaming at people, like the flex on them one, charging up, kind of looks like that too. Hulk smash one, which doesn't really work with the sound. A little bit 
a little bit more masculine than maybe she's supposed to have, but it kind of looks right. Superman shield, spray paint, Superman and Supergirl are among her primary enemies, so I figured, hey, maybe she'll tag the town. Normally, I leave it at that and really don't go any further, but in this particular case, I'm going to drop her into a little bit of in-game action. And just kind of see her running around the map a little bit. I used to do that more often with my custom skins. I used to drop them into games and, like, get some gameplay action with them as well. And I think I'm going to do that again for this video. So, let's see Silver Banshee, I don't know, fight some dudes. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't change her contrail now in hindsight, seeing it in the game. I just think that the other one would have been way too red. Well, that was a top 10 finish. Wasn't all the way of the victory that we wanted, but that was a little bit of Silver Banshee in the gameplay, and uh, that was how we made Silver Banshee, uh, the DC character in uh, Fortnite. Thank you very much for the request, and if you want to see more custom characters, please do drop some suggestions down in the comments below this video or any of our videos. We do see them. We can't necessarily make a custom skin of everybody that is suggested, but we definitely like reading all of the great ideas, so keep them coming. Uh, like and subscribe. Check us out on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, even though we don't post all that often in those places. And... Yeah, use code TRIPLEHOUND in the Fortnite Item Shopper Epic Game Store. Hashtag ad. I almost forget that one. And I guess that's it. See you later, guys.